We're hoping to get some funding to renew our lights on the oval. We've built a new rec centre over here and in the process of building the rec centre one of the light towers had to go, uh, about 30 years old now, so they're used by dates well and fully up. The rec centre's up and going, but uh, we've only got two lights on one side of the oval that are working, so hopefully, with a bit of fundraising and a bit of community spirit and a little bit of help from Holden, we'll be able to get enough money together to put some few light towers up. As you can see, it's a little bit dark, a little bit hard to see after six o'clock, Time now is about half past six and the sun's going down very quickly. We're really excited about our new rec centre that um, has come up, but we've lost a couple of lights on the oval in the process, which has um, raised an issue for us immediately. Um, dealing with uh, running our training sessions coming into the winter season, it's very dark. The guys aren't going to be able to see on the Tuesday or Friday nights. Just love the Boddington Football Club, it's an amazing club that's been going for 71 years, which is in a tiny town of 2,000 odd people is an incredible feat. Our furthest game is 180 kilometres, so our little D grade under 14 sides start pretty early. They have to be at the Oval at 9.30, so it's leaving home at 7 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully with a new set of lights, we might be able to play a couple of these D grade games under lights. We have done it in the past with a bit of help from the local mine using lighting towers. That way all the parents will get a sleep in. And, uh, D graders under 14s will run out at 5 o'clock when the seniors game's over. The whole um, lights issue has provided the club a really good opportunity to upgrade the infrastructure to um, some match grade lighting, which is really exciting because that opens up the whole possibility of um, expanding the whole club's reach. Where, where one of the possibilities could be to look at introducing a AFL Super Nines league. We've got a lot of men in the community that are former players that don't play anymore, um, that could play, but don't play because they're worried about injury and being out of the workforce. You know, with the lights, that's potentially a whole new comp that we could introduce midweek at nights. It's a mixed comp. So, um, you know, that's really exciting. You could broaden the whole club's reach into the community, enriching the health and wellbeing and social opportunities in the town. I'm a former New South Wales um, state softball player, so I'm very passionate about the benefits of sport in the community. You know, having lights like that, the town could introduce soccer comps, um, hockey, touch football, maybe even softball, <laughs> who knows? But um, yeah, the lights, upgrading the lights is a great um, worthy project for our community, so um, please support our grant. Um, can please support our football club and get us the football lights for this season. Thank you very much.